Athlete Award winner for three years. His future plans are to attend college and major in either pre-med or pharmacy. From his parents, Will, we are glad to support you with all that you want to achieve and never giving up. You're an awesome son and we love you. Thank you for all the memories. And from Will, I'd like to thank my parents for always being there for me the whole time. My football coaches for always pushing me to do my best. I'd also like to thank my former coach, Coach Stewart, because without him, I wouldn't have the love of football that I do now. Will Young. Our first senior band member is Megan Baker, being escorted by her mother, Kenny, father, Dave, and siblings, Dustin, Lauren, and David. She has participated in Color Guard for three years and has been a captain for two of the three. Megan has a 3.89 GPA and will have completed the IB program by the end of this year. She plans to attend UC to study law and criminal justice. Her parents would like to say, Megan, you are a very loving, devoted, passionate, and caring young lady. You always give your all in your schoolwork and relationships. We are very proud of all you have accomplished and what you have become. Megan would like to say to her coaches, thank you for bettering me, not only as a performer, but as a person. To her team, each and every one of you have become a sister to me. Hold on to each other and your passion. And to her parents, thank you for always believing in any dream I've managed to come up with. You've taught me to put 100% into everything I do. I love you guys. Megan Baker. Next is Amanda Beavers being escorted by her mother Ellen, father Joe, and brother, brother Curtis. She has participated in marching band for six years, been a section leader for two years, and a drum major for three years. Amanda is an AP IB student with a 3.33 GPA. She hopes to attend Miami University and major in music education. Her parents would like to say, Amanda, your focus and determination will lead to success. Whatever path you choose, we know your kind heart and positive spirit will serve you well. Amanda would like to say to her parents, thank you for always supporting me through band. And to her coaches, thank you for believing in me. I wouldn't be where I am today without you all. And to her team, you all have helped me make, make me into the person I am today, and I don't know where I'd be without you. You have made the past six years the best they possibly could be. Keep doing amazing things, and you'll accomplish things you never thought possible. I love you. Amanda Beavers. Next, Becca Beheimer is being escorted by Christian and her father, Stephen. She has been clarinet section leader and woodwind sergeant. She has a GPA of 2.689 and plans to attend UC to study music and photography. Christian would like to say, I just wanted to say thank you for making me so happy. I love you and thank you for taking this ride with me. I'm so happy for you. Have a good show. Becca would like to say thank you, Christian, for being so supportive for this year and being at every performance. To the band, thank you so much. Hope you all have fun. Becca Beheimer. Next is Josh Bunton. Escorted by his parents, Janice and Mark, and his grandparents, Eddie and Richard Locke. Josh has played trumpet for four years of high school and has also served on leadership since sophomore year as a section leader. Josh has a 3.75 GPA and plans to attend Cincinnati Conservatory of Music or Miami University for Music and also March Drum Course. His parents
parents would like to say, Josh, we are very proud of all your accomplishments. We can't wait to see what the future holds for you. We love you. Josh would like to say, Mom and Dad, thank you for being there for me and for the endless hours you devote of your time to help the band be successful by volunteering on the boosters. Mr. Morgan, thank you for helping me over the years and being a great band director and helping me become the trumpet player I am today, Josh Bunting. Next is Trenton Douglas being escorted by his mother Sula Douglas and brother Harrison Douglas. Trenton originally started in the pit but has moved up to the drum line to the section leader of the snare drums. Trenton is currently a student at Live Oaks in heavy equipment, operations, and engineering. He would also like to enlist in the Army. Trenton's parents would like to say, Life has given you many struggles and challenges. Your hard work and persistence has paid off. Believe in yourself and you will accomplish all your goals. Trenton would like to say thanks for being my biggest supporter, raising me and teaching me how to always do better. Trenton Douglas. Next, Alice Delaney is escorted by his parents, Marie and Chris Delaney. Alex has spent four years on the drum line playing both bass and snare. He has a 3.3 GPA and plans to attend UC and major in zoology. His parents would like to say, Alex is a great kid with a ton of passion for what he does. He is kind, funny, and has a love for wildlife that is rarely seen. We expect great things for you as you grow into the wonderful person we see before us. Alex would like to say, thank you to my family for always supporting me. Thank you, Jessica, for always having my back. To the band, thank you for being the best band I've ever been a part of. Alex Delaney. Next is Skylar Ferguson, being escorted by Mrs. Amy Shamrick. Skylar is a hard-working young lady with a beautiful heart, working towards a bright future by majoring in psychology with an eventual goal of being a music therapist. She wants to dedicate her life to helping children in hospitals and other recovery centers. Skylar would like to thank her band family for the amazing life-changing experience she has received through her time in band. Special shout out to her girls in the guard. Skylar Ferguson. Next, we have Drew Fisher. He is escorted by his mother, Lindsay Fisher, Grandma Cindy Cornell, and his great-grandpa, Bob Pennington. Drew has been in marching band for six years, a flute section leader, and was the only piccolo player his junior year. He has a 3.6 GPA and plans to be accepted into Ohio State. Drew's mother would like to say, Drew, you have given me so many reasons to be proud of the man you have become. But the proudest moment for me is telling others that you are my son. I thank God for blessing me with you. I love you so very much. You are my best friend. Drew would like to say, Mom and Grammy, thanks for always being there for me. I don't know where I would be without you, and thanks for helping me be the best student and person that I can be. I love you guys. Drew Fisher. Next, we have Kristen Haas being escorted by her mother, Reba Hancock, Aunt Heather Haas, and Mama Duggar. Kristen received most improved rookie in her first year. She has a 3.49 GPA. After graduation, she plans to go to UC Claremont and then NKU to get a degree in secondary education. Her parents would like to say, we are beyond 
proud of your accomplishments as a young lady. We have enjoyed being a part of your three years of fall and winter color guard. Kristen would like to say to the band, thank you for making my high school years even more fun. I'm glad I got to know you all and will miss you guys when I leave. We are one band, one pack, we are wolves. Kristen Haas. Lisa Haney is being escorted by her parents, John and Renee, Renee Haney. Liza has been section leader for two years. She plans to be happy with a fulfilling job. Her parents would like to say, we love you so much, Liza, and look forward to your future. You're a bright, intelligent, caring, loving daughter, and we are proud of you. Liza would like to say, I can't wait to see how much this band will grow. I love my band babies. Liza Haney. Next, Kaden Halke is being escorted by her parents, Charlene and Aaron. Kaden has been a trumpet section leader and brass sergeant. She also has a 4.0 GPA and is in NHS. Kaden plans to be a music producer and go to Ball State University. Her parents would like to say, Savannah, you continue to amaze us with everything you do. We are so proud of you. Your deep passion for and complete dedication to your talent will serve you well in all that you do. Keep working hard and develop your skills. We love you more than we can say. Caden would like to say, thank you for supporting me, Mom and Dad. For everyone else, make me proud to graduate first. It won't be hard. Caden Halkey. Next, Zachary Hinninger is escorted by his parents, Jenny and Mike Hinninger. This is Zachary's fifth year in marching band, and he plays three instruments. He has a 3.6 GPA. His parents would like to say, we are so proud of you and all of your accomplishments and can't wait to see what the future holds. One down, four to go. Zachary would like to say to his parents, thanks for letting me stay up later to do my homework and thanks for putting up with my shenanigans over the years. Zach and Next, Gabe Howard is being escorted by his mom, Stephanie Paquette, who is very proud of him. He plans to become a pilot. Gabe would like to thank his parents for all their support through his high school years. Gabe Howard. Next, Andrew Johnson is being escorted by his parents, Wade Johnson and Denise Frazier Johnson. Andrew has been a field commander for the marching band for two years. He plans to attend college. His parents would like to say, we are proud of the hard work Andrew has done in the marching band and look forward to his future achievements. We know he has an amazing, amazing future ahead of him. Andrew would like to say, I thank God for this band and everyone who has helped me to be a part of it. I would like to tell the band to never stop changing lives with our music, and we are all doing it for something bigger than ourselves. Andrew Johnson. Caitlin Kelly is being escorted by her parents, Jeffrey Kelly and Tiffany Kelly. Caitlin has been captain of the color guard for two years. She is currently a full-time CCP student and attends UC Claremont and has a 3.8 GPA. Caitlin plans on graduating from the University of Cincinnati and attending medical school to study pathology. Her 
parents would like to say, we are so proud of everything you have achieved and will, achieved and will continue to accomplish. You will change the world one day. Caitlin would like to say, thank you to my parents for teaching me to never be satisfied. Thank you to Brian Fisher for believing in all 200 of us when we didn't even believe in ourselves. I hope that all of us remember to always spread love in a world full of hurt. Caitlin Kelly. Elise Martin is being escorted by her parents, Bill and Lisa Martin. Elise is a member of the National Honor Society and plans to go into biomedical research for her college degree. Her parents would like to say, we love that you are involved with the school and the color guard. Elise would like to say, this experience has really pushed me in my comfort zone and thank you all for allowing me to do this amazing experience. Elise Martin. Next, Patrick Morrell is being escorted by his parents, Brian and Teresa. Patrick has a 4.0 GPA and plans to attend Northern Kentucky University and major in computer science. His parents would like to say, we are proud of you as we have watched you grow into a fine young man and all the hard work you have done these past five year, 12 years. Know what it feels like. The end is really the beginning. Be the change you want to see in the world. Patrick Morrell. Next, Peggy Nelson is being escorted by her parents, brother Jeremy, sister Alicia, and her grandparents, Bob and Brenda. Kaylee has played clarinet for two years and has been in color guard for two years. She has a 3.8 GPA and plans to graduate from college and start her own photography business. Her parents would like to say, we are very proud of Kaylee and we can't wait to see what the future holds for her. Kaylee would like to say to her parents, thank you for supporting me and always believing in me. And to her team, thank you for making my senior year great.